bonk, 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 bonk. The executive summary on the work tab, if you want to quick just do this summary. Work tabs right here. Press manual priorities in the upper left. You probably want firefighting, patient, bed rest, and ba basic all set to one. Uh, if you want the person to doctor, set that to one. If you don't want them to be a doctor, leave this blank. This person's pretty good. They can be a doctor. If you have the biotech DLC, you'll have this childcare column. You want childcare set to four. Children can teach themselves at a desk. You don't need to have anybody do it. After that, or all of these other jobs from warden to research, you only want to use two, three, and four. Uh, think of each person as having one to three main jobs. Then each person has a few things they do if their main jobs are done. Set up their two main jobs so one is done first, then the other. Uh, hey House here has a passion for cooking, so let's set that to two. They're not particularly good at anything else. We'll set hunting to three. Don't have anything else to do. Then haul, then research. Chem here. We'll set them one to firefighting, patient, bed rest, and basic. Set four to childcare. And we will have them construct first. After they're done construction, do growing. After they're done growing, do crafting. Once all that is done, then clean, then haul. Same for Han, firefighting, patient, bed rest, basic, childcare. You don't actually have to do it. You're good at wardening. You do that. You've got a passion for handling. You do that if it's done. Uh, and then, then do some mining. You're even better at crafting. So why don't you do crafting first? And we'll, we'll drop that up. We'll only have you do crafting. And if you don't have anything to do, clean, then haul, then research. You would do this down the whole list for everybody. But there is no singular best way to set up the work tab. For example, maybe here, maybe we do want this person to craft, maybe we don't. It depends on your game. In fact, you can set up the work tab in different ways to be functionally exactly the same. These two work tabs that you can see look a little bit different, but they would function exactly the same in RimWorld. A better work tab summary is... If your colonists are doing jobs in the order you want, then you're using the work tab correctly. There is no single best way to set up the work tab. You should know a bunch of cool features of the work tab. For example, we've got manual priorities right here, so you can switch it to the numbers. Uh, jobs are always done in order, and it explained right here. One is done first, four is done last, and ties are broken left to right. Left is higher priority, right is lower priority. We'll go over this in more detail in a moment. The colors on this represent skill level. Low skill levels, like 0 and 2, are going to be red. High skill levels, 20, 18, 16, are going to be gold. And in between will be shades of gray to white. Just because someone is or is not high skilled doesn't mean you should or shouldn't have them do the task. The little icons in the corner represent passions. So this person has a single passion and this one has a burning double passion. You can sort by skill level by clicking on the job name. For example, if we want to find our best doctor, click it once, click it again, that's our best doctor. Want to find our best constructor to repair something in an emergency, click it once, click it again. So we can sort worst to best best to worst, and no sorting. No sorting is the order at the top of the screen. If we grab Elsie here, right click and drive and put him to the top, they're going to move to the top of the work tab. Put Hay House back to the top, and they're back on top. You can shift click a job name to shift everyone up or down that number. For example, if we want everybody on cleaning one to get cleaning done, we can shift left click and shift everybody down. When we're done cleaning, we can shift right click and put everybody back. Same thing with hauling. Shift everybody down, haul all the harvest in, shift it back, put it back to where it was. So shift left and shift right click, shift the whole list. You can hover over these names at the top to see individual component jobs. So here's all the jobs that construction causes. And these jobs are always going to be done in order top to bottom. And last, there is a copy paste button. So for example, if we take 
Uh, we can set up someone real quick with the basic job of nothing and then haul clean and research and we can copy this and we can paste that down the whole list. So those are all the cool features you can do with the work tab. Jobs are always done in order on the work tab. If something isn't done in order, that means one of the jobs was impossible. There's lots of silly reasons why something may be impossible and we'll talk about those in a moment. If you're using the default check mark system, the jobs are done in order left to right. And it says right here, higher priority to the left, lower priority to the right. If you are using manual priorities, number one is done first, four is done last, and then ties are broken left to right. There are no number ones. Then for number two, construction and plant cutting are both number two, but construction is to the left. That's higher priority. So this person will always construct and then they'll always plant cut and then they will always mine. Twos before threes, left before right. And we can undraft them and watch. They'll all construct, then they'll cut down all the trees and then they'll mine. If we come back to Galloway and reset everything, we still have the construction, the plant cutting, the mining ordered. If we switch it up to look like this, now they're going to mine first, then they're going to plant cut, and then they're going to construct. And we can undraft and we can watch them do it. They're going to mine first. Then they're going to plant cut. And then they're going to construct. Always in order. One to four. Ties are broken left to right. If we hover over a job, we can see all the individual component jobs. These are always going to be done in order top to bottom. So this person's only assigned to construction. So they're going to fix the broken down turbine first. Then they're going to uninstall the table. Then they're going to build a roof and then they're going to construct frames. There is no removing roofing to be done and none of the other jobs. And we can undraft them. We can watch all this happen. So first they're going to fix the turbine. Then they're going to uninstall the table. Then they're going to build the roof and then they're going to construct the shelves. Always in order, top to bottom on the list. If jobs are not done in order, according to the work tab, one of the jobs was impossible. There are a bunch of extremely unintuitive reasons why a job may not be impossible. Here's some of them. So in this example, Galloway is set up to mine before construction. We've got some mining ordered and there's some construction to do. If I undraft Galloway, they're going to try and do construction first. They should be mining first. In this example, the reason why they're not doing it is they are restricted by zone. So they are going to repair the turbine because they can't reach the mining. If we alter their zone and include the mining area in their zone and we undraft them and redraft them, now they're going to mine first. The one reason of impossibility is someone's restricted by zone. Items can be claimed. Ingredients can be claimed. So we go to the work tab, Galloway set up to cook. We've got a stove. We've got a bill set up to cook meals. We've got rice right here. But if I undraft Galloway, they're just going to wander around. Why are you wandering around? Why aren't you cooking? In this example, the rice is being claimed by the dog the dog is hauling the rice to the shelf so this rice is unavailable if we take the dog and tell it to just stand up here for a second with the zone just stay outside dog and we give galloway a moment galloway will notice the rice is now available and now they'll get to cooking constructing place frames or delivering resources to frames always comes before deconstructing things but in this example galloway He's going to deconstruct the stuff first. Why is that? Because in this example, Galloway does not have enough skill to construct the wind turbine. Sometimes skill will mean things are impossible. In this example, Galloway is set up to mine and what they should be doing is mining. So why aren't you going to mine? You want to eat instead. There are jobs like eating, taking drugs, changing clothes that supersede the work tab. Sometimes your colonist will want to eat or do something else rather than doing what they're scheduled to do on the work tab. Here we've got Maya bleeding to death on the ground and Galloway is only set to doctor. Doctoring includes 
rescuing downed allies to a bed. So, Galloway here should absolutely rescue Maya. But instead, in this example, they're going to go to sleep because their sleep meter is low rather than actually doing doctoring. In RimWorld, never trust your doctors, never trust your patients. Again, some jobs like eating or sleeping may supersede the work tab even for jobs like doctoring. Never trust them, manually tell them to rescue people and tend them. These examples of why RimWorld jobs can be impossible are not all the reasons why jobs can be impossible. There's several other really obnoxious things why jobs wouldn't be done in order on the work tab. But things are always done in order on the work tab unless they are impossible. If something is not being done, that means there is a reason why, even if that reason may be obnoxious or unintuitive or confusing, there is some reason why. The work tab will virtually always be a living document that changes over time. You will likely not be able to set up the work tab once and then never change it as you play. Be prepared to adjust the work tab based on changing circumstances. At the start of the game, you'll likely have few people and each person's going to have to do multiple tasks. So in this example of a colony, these three people, none of them are particularly skilled at growing and mining. At this point in time, some of these people are going to have to grow or mine even if they stink at it. So, for example, we'll probably have Cat Lady do construction, then mining. Uh, Alex here, you can do handling. And then why don't you do plant cutting? And Wonder, you'll be our cook, and you should plant cut too. Later on in the game, hopefully we will find other people to do mining and plant cutting. But for now, early on the game, you're going to have to do what you have to do. Here's an example of a work tab of a late game colony. In this example, we have tons of people who have passion and high skill in plants, but they're not all assigned to growing and plant cutting. They're not all assigned because these first three people are so high skilled and so efficient at it, the other people don't need to do it. As you develop your colony, you want to develop specialists. And don't confuse specialists by the ideology DLC specialist. I mean, specialist is people who focus on just one or two jobs on the work tab. You want high skilled people because high skilled colonists can be far more effective than multiple low skill colonists. For example, a single level 10 researcher can research just as fast as four level two researchers combined. Higher skill means things like higher quality, higher work speed, higher resources, higher yield, higher success chance. Each skill is different, but the concept is the same. You want people who are specialized in a specific task. Focus on maximizing skills at that task and remove other people off it when they're not necessary. So you're going to need to think of the work tab as a living document. At the start of the game, when you have few people, people are going to need to do lots of things and some things they're not particularly good at. When you get later on in the game, you can have people focus in on the jobs they're particularly good at and they sometimes won't even do jobs that they're passionate about or high skilled in because you have other specialists who can do the task. Some jobs are all consuming black hole jobs. A colonist is going to reach that task on the work tab and they're going to rarely ever get to any of their jobs after that. The most obvious example of a black hole job is researching. If these two are going to be researching, they will never get to cooking, growing, constructing, or mining. They're going to research all day. It's a black hole. This colonist is assigned to construction and then mining. If you're only doing small construction tasks, like, hey, let's expand the base a little bit, that's no big deal. They'll construct it and then they'll go mine. However, if you order up a gigantic granite wall around your base, they'll be making the granite wall forever. They'll never get to mining. The making the giant granite wall is essentially a black hole job. It just will take all their time. They'll never get to anything else. 
Also, another one, this colonist is set to growing and then cooking. If you only have a small field like potatoes, it's no big deal. They can finish this up and then cook when it's done. However, if you set up a large field of trees to be sown, these sowing these trees is going to take a huge amount of time. This person's never going to cook. You're never going to have food cooked if they're stuck on the black hole job of growing. Try to keep in mind black hole jobs. Remember, you can change the work tab or only schedule a few things to be done at a time. So in our example with the big granite wall, we could change the order. So uh, mining is done before constructing. We could do it via the work tab or we could leave it how it is with construction before mining and then only queue up small portions of the wall at a time. Let them finish this, do some mining, order up some more wall, do some mining, order up some more wall, do some mining. You don't have to use just the work tab to ensure people do things in the order you want. The work tab is not the only way you can control what order jobs are done. In this example, we've got mining before construction. If I want construction before mining, I can just use the work tab to flip it or I can flip it back. So I can change the work tab to change the order or I can shift Q jobs. If I have construction before mining and at this moment I want mining done first, I can simply select Galloway, right click and force to do the task. Then I could hold shift and I could queue up multiple and now Galloway is going to mine all those four first. Another alternative option is I can just simply not assign things to be done. So I could have mining to be done first and then just not order any mining and now they'll construct. When I want mining done, then I order it, and now they'll do mining first. When I don't order it, they don't do it. When I do order it, they do do it. Or, yet another thing is I could restrict Galloway by a zone. I could make a zone, expand area, area one, and I could tell Galloway to stay inside, but when I want mining to be done first, I could expand the zone to include the mining area. When I don't want Galloway to mine, I just don't let her go out there. So whether you use the work tab to change the order of things or use right click to change the order of things or use uh, don't assign things when you do or don't want them to be done or use the zoning. It all works the same. There is no best option amongst those four. There are different tools and use the best one for you at the time. But I do recommend setting up the work tab so you have the option of fully utilizing that. In the executive summary, I suggested using two, three, and four for all of these jobs on the work tab. The reason for that is if you do that, you can now set a job to number one and know that job will be done first. For example, if we take Snuffalo and set cleaning to one, now we know cleaning would be done first. If instead we had jobs like smithing and tailoring on one, they would do smithing and tailoring first. If we have other jobs at one, we can't set one of the later jobs to one and know it'll be done first. We reserve the number one slot for immediately getting things done. For example, the base is really filthy here. And if we use the shift click method, we can shift click everybody down to cleaning one. And now we know everyone is going to be focusing on cleaning at the moment. And the cleaning will immediately get done. If we see there's lots of stuff that need to be hauled, if we turn off cleaning and set hauling to one, now everyone will go to hauling and they'll unload the animal first off and they're loading up all these other things. So now everyone is hauling. By only using two, three, and four, this gives us the option to set things to number one. A few quick notes. For doctoring, even if someone is not assigned to doctoring, you can always draft that person and force tend. You may want some people set to handling for, even if they're not good with animals, to make sure they can rope animals if animals break free or if animals are left on the edge of the map on a caravan. 
crafting also controls things like generating drugs and cutting stone blocks. Crafting isn't just crafting, it's a bunch of other things too. At some point in time, you'll probably want one or two people to haul as a priority and one or two people to clean as a priority. You'll want some on each. That way, some hauling gets done, like rearming things and refueling things, and someone's always cleaning stuff up. You may not want everyone set to cleaning and hauling as a high priority. For example, you don't want someone who is assigned to growing constantly bouncing back and forth, going outside, sowing one or two crops, walking home, cleaning one or two things, going outside, sowing a few more things, coming inside, hauling a meal. Hauling and cleaning are going to appear constantly and walking back and forth wastes lots of work time. Research is done before scanning, so if you want the scanning to be done, you may need to zone out your research benches or turn them off if they're electric or maybe forbid the door to your research room if you want scanning done over research. And in summary for the work tab, remember there is no singular best way to use the work tab. And the work tab isn't the only option. There's also right clicking forcing tasks, zoning restrictions, and simply not assigning tasks. Use whichever method best fits you and your situation. Jobs on the work tab are always done in order one to four, then left to right for ties, and then top to bottom within the job. Except when the job is impossible and there are a lot of unintuitive reasons why things may be impossible but there will always be a reason. The work tab is a living document. You can't have one work tab that works all game. You may need to start with many people doing many jobs, and then as the game develops, hopefully you will have specialists that focus on few tasks. Keep in mind black hole jobs that consume all of a colonist's time, that will prevent them from doing other jobs on their work tab. Then remember cool features of the work tab, like sorting by skill level and shifting people up or down in mass. But most importantly, if your colonists are doing things in the order you want, you are doing the work tab correctly. I'm Mortal Smurf. That's pretty much everything I know on the work tab. Thank you for being here. Have a great day.